so on my way to the hospital because I've been having contractions since last night um, yeah so we think it's about that time hopefully it's not a false alarm so yeah I'm about to hop an uber and head to the hospital <laughs> Okay, so I literally just walked into my room, um, still having contractions. Um, they told me to change into this gown and the non-slip socks. So I'm going to change into that and then the doctor... Oh, that's a contraction. <laughs> the doctor should be, um, wow. Um, <sighs> let me breathe. Let's say, is that a camera? What the fuck? But it's a light. Um, the nurse should be in any, any second now to, you know, check me and stuff like that. For those that are wondering, we're sad, why is he not there? Um, he actually had clients and they were already like in a session and I didn't want him to cancel. As, mu as bad as he begged me, I'm like, no, you're not canceling, they're already here. Like I felt bad, I'm like, I don't want you to tell these people to turn around and they're already here. Um, so I told him to just, and then there's no guarantee that you know I'm going into labor they're just gonna check me because I feel like I may have dilated more so um, his mom is on her way and my mom does not live in Atlanta so she's just gonna have to be on FaceTime with us um, but yeah his mom's on her way and then he'll be here um, right after the nurse checks me to let me know what the deal is. Alright, so the nurse just left and she checked me and basically I am, I've dilated more. Um, I remember, I remember I told you guys like a week or, I think a week ago, I was one centimeter dilated, um, already. So now I am almost three centimeters dilated. I'm about two and some change, so it's like close to three, but not fully three yet, but it's it's close to three. Um, I had some bleeding, which is the real reason why I came. The contractions weren't the reason why I came. I came because um, they say it's normal for you to spot, but your blood should be a light red and my blood was a dark red so that's why I came um, she said that that's okay she said that she doesn't see like a ton of blood so nothing is wrong um, she said what that the bleeding is just from my cervix thinning out um, my cer last week, my doctor told me that my cervix had thinned out to 50%. It has to be 100% in order for us to go into labor. So, yeah, right now, they just have a monitor on me. Oh. You can see... getting a contraction and my back hurts um but yeah they're just gonna uh monitor me for a little bit they said just to see how the baby's doing and um oh y'all hear his he's like his heart beat is racing that's because i'm having a contraction and my back this bed is not comfortable because my back is killing me right now um but anywho um oh that feels a lot better okay so yeah they're just gonna sit and monitor monitor us for a while and just to see how i hold up 
and then um, they're gonna get the doctor in here and then they're gonna make a decision whether or not they want me to stay or whether or not I should go home now last night due to due to the contractions I didn't get any sleep like I said I was constantly getting up like every time I had a contraction and my contractions are like 10 minutes apart so I was just constantly getting up so they said they'll give me something um, to go to sleep if they send me home because I'm like super tired <laughs> um, so yeah that's it that's what's going on um, so I'm glad that I, I said didn't cancel his session like this is exactly why I didn't want him to because there wasn't a guarantee that I was going into labor it could have just been you know a false alarm and I feel like that's what it is okay guys so I am going home Here's my mommy. <laughs> we are waiting on valet to bring the car. We're ready at this point. This is like some great lighting because upstairs my lighting was horrible. But um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And I'm starving. It's like, what time is it? Oh my god, 3.30. It's 3.30. I haven't ate anything, like, all day. Because I was literally in the bed just tossing and turning, like, in so much pain. Yeah, Missy's going crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Dying to see him and shit. You know how that be. Um, so we're on our way back to the hospital because, um, the contractions have gotten worse and... They told me to come back when I, when the contractions are six minutes apart. At this time, they're four minutes apart. So, let's see what's going to happen. Hey, Grandma. What up? Be young. I went to a little more you had. Gonna hold on. I'm trying to find my monitor. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. You're good. Yum. You're still cute. Oh, the three out two. Yeah. I mean, you can wait till it starts. Oh. Why well, she gonna call you back now? Oh. 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 <laughs> it's a bulging bag. They have to break it. She was at, she was nine centimeters about ten minutes ago. All right. You good? Mm -hmm. You're amazing. Look at you. So proud. Damn. I've never been able to do this in a million years. Uh, <laughs> All right, you want to set me up? She, you mean you center in the middle? Get kind of center your bottom. Good job. Okay, relax. Try to put this feet up. And then relax his knee all the way up. Okay. Oh, jelly. Try not to run up the bed. I know this is very uncomfortable. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was about to break. They just have me. Oh, it is. It is. I tell you, there ain't no question. <laughs> just have a watch. I'm just checking. She's like nine and a half. 
Right there. She's right there. Yes. Okay. Stop that. She doesn't have an epidural. Okay. I just literally checked her. If we roll back and open up the legs, we're going to have a baby. You're going to have to push a little bit, just like you're having a bowel movement, okay? Right, you got to straighten your body up, okay? And you're going to grab with these hands behind your legs. Okay. Now you're gonna pull against your legs. Can we have two okay. um, people holding legs? We need two um, people to help support. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you how much you're holding on. This is what I want you to do, okay? Put your hand here. Mm -hmm. okay. Mom, they gotta relax. Mm -hmm. you gotta hold your legs. Mm -hmm. Grab your legs. Okay. Yeah. Now, Underneath. Your okay, whenever you're ready, give me some. Pu give me a push. Ready? This okay, and push. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and relax and go back into it and ready and push. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. Relax and go and push. And push. One, two, three, four, five, just push. Six, no, seven, eight, nine. Alright, so the next one when we're pushing, okay? We're gonna Yeah. Sweetheart, it's okay. 